Hey y'all, Shady Peach here. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing another casual booster pack opening. So uh, today is going to be exclusively Rise of the Floodborne. So we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. And now we're at our first person point of view and we have all of our packs in front of us. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why I needed to count. And five blisters. So we're gonna go ahead and just start with the blisters just cause that is the thing that's taking up the most space on my table. So let's go ahead and get this started. We don't really need too much of an introduction for this. It's very simple, just pack opening after pack opening. I have a lot of these actually from uh, tournament wins. Some of these are just given to me for entering the tournaments and then recently I've been doing rather well in a lot of my locals, so I've been getting prizing. The blisters are from Target, <laughs> so we're going to open up the blisters first. Anytime I go to Target, I usually try to grab as many as I can if there's any even available, so it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. We got Mulan, Chip the Teacup. Mulan, Arthur, Basil, Magic Broom, Queen of Hearts, Li Shang, Donald Duck, Honest John, ooh, nice, Grandpappy, and a Little John Hollow. All right, very nice. I just realized I don't have my sleeves. We're gonna pause for a sec. Okay, we are always the most unprepared when we start these videos. So let's go ahead and put little John in a little sleeve and move all those to the side. We'll go ahead and put all our hollows up here. All right, next blister. Been uh, getting a release recently of um, all of the new, well not all of, but some of the new cards that are coming in the new set. I'm super excited. There's some broken cards coming up in the new set for sure. Uh, it looks like they're giving a lot of support to green and amber, so those guys are going to be uh, moving up in the world, it seems. So, we've got Piglet, Winnie the Pooh, perfect with the map, alright, Minnie Mouse, Hypnotize, hate that card, uh, the Knock, Prince Naveen, Sword in the Stone, Pacha, Tiana, Gruesome and Grim, Tiana, and a hollow Nick Wild. Okay. Let's get that boy sleeved. All right, we got a furry club going up here <laughs> for sure. Let's see if we can keep that trend and get a beast. I just realized I am opening a pack and not a blister. I do not have my head on straight, but that's fine. It all is going to the same place at the end of the day. So, we have Peter Pan's Dagger, Enchantress, Duke Wesselton, Mulan, Legend of Sword and the Stone, Charge, Pain, Binding Contract. Ooh, I hate this card. Caterpillar. This card's been kicking my butt on Pixelborn recently. Basil, Raya. And a shiny Prince John. I think this is a uh, an omen for what's to come. Because I feel like green is just going to come out of the wreckage and become a top deck when the new cards come out for sure. And this guy might be leading the pack. Follow your prince. That was promised. Alright, next blister. I also have a lot of first edition packs too. I'm gonna go ahead and save those for another video. I like kind of organizing it, just doing one pack at a time if I can, uh, one set at a time. And yes, I will definitely be opening uh, Into the Inklands once it comes out. So we've got Cusco. What did you call me? Improvise. Corella Deville. Piglet. Benja. Blue Fairy. Even though it's a purple card. I have a friend that's so angry that this is a purple card and not a blue card. Sword in the Stone. Pacha. Bibbida bobbida boo. Ooh, nice. Our first legendary. We got a scar, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of my favorite legendaries in the game. I, this guy's like another be prepared if played properly. And then after that, Arthur. All right. 
Let's go ahead and get him sleeved. Put away. And yeah, we'll sleeve Arthur too. I know a lot of people like the idea of collecting every single foil for the sets in the game, having like a master set. I don't know if I want to go that far. I like the idea of just kind of selling what I don't need and not stockpiling too much. Um, I will definitely be collecting the enchanted, though. I definitely want to have a fleet of those, but those are so hard to come by these days. Or these days, just in general. So, I don't know. I I'll take stock of everything I have and just see how close I am to actually looking at doing something like a master collection. My favorite card in the game, James. Best card. <laughs> Eudora, Croquet Mouth, Fidget, Flynn Rider, Donald Duck, Four Dozen Eggs, Sword in the Stone, Pacha, Queen of Hearts, ooh, the good Flynn Rider, and Charge. Okay. Put you down there. Move these to the side, last blister, and then we'll just be exclusively opening packs. I also saw they released the information for the Troves, uh, or the Trove for Into the Inklands. I am super excited for that one. I will absolutely be opening up a Trove on this channel for Into the Inklands. The fact that it comes with dice and those little card dividers, that's awesome. I want to say goodbye to those little pebble things that they give us in the old troves. Uh, what did you call me? Improvise. Corella Deville. Piglet. Winnie the Pooh. Tiana. Bounce. Pinocchio. Dopey. Little John. Peter Pan's Shadow. And Buon. I was a little confused there. I forgot to take this guy out. Mr. Buon. Bone? I don't know how to say his name. Bone, Bon. I don't know. I haven't seen your movie, buddy. So I'll put you over there. Alright. Now we're just on to the loose packs. Let's see what we can get. These are from tournament victories. Or just placing, I should say. I've only won one tournament and gotten two third places. So. We've got Piglet. Winnie the Pooh, Minnie Mouse, Hypnotize, The Knock, Last Cannon, Cheshire Cat, Four Dozen Eggs, Snow White, Ooh, nice, a Gaston, Teeth and Ambitions, and Chip the Teacup. Alright, bit of a slower opening, for sure. I'm happy with the scar, but I want more. I desire more. All right. What do we got? We've got Improvise, Corel Deville, Piglet. I've seen so many Piglets in Winnie the Poohs. Uh, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, Launch, There Your Godmother. Ooh, nice, a Ballroom Sensation Cinderella. That's like a $12 card right there. And, okay, very nice. That goes really well together. The Queen, and, wow, holy cow, this is a really good pack. A Shiny Yzma. These are all money cards. That's awesome. All right, I will take it. Let's get all three of these guys sleeved. That was, that was an awesome pack. All of these guys are very valuable. Cinderella Ballroom Sensation. All right, I'm just gonna put you over here with Scar because you're not foil, but Yzma, you are. So I'll put you over there. Very nice, very nice. Urgh. Okay, let's see, we got Verana. Corel Deville, Sleepy, Merlin, Go the Distance, Beast, Minnie Mouse, Lawrence, 
Bucky, the Huntsman, Radigan's Marvelous Trap, and we've got a Merlin. Okay. Get rid of that. Get rid of these. And we've got three packs left. Perfectly iconic, because it's the three characters that are on the set. Alright. We've got Flynn Rider. Jasmine. Happy. Jiminy Cricket. Mulan. Charge. Mouse Armor. Bounce. Hey Hey. Chief Bogo. And... Oh, one more. Raya. And... Ah, White Eye Diver Minnie Mouse. Okay. Okay. Two packs left, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get the Enchanted? Can we get fortunate enough to pull Ballroom Sensation Cinderella, but Enchanted? I don't know if we'll get that fortunate. But it's nice to dream and nice to hope. All right, we've got Happy. Let's see if this pack makes me happy. I'm stuck. Tigger. Donald Duck. Owl. Tiana. Mother Gothel. Mouse Armor. Bounce. Namari. I actually like this card. I think this card's actually pretty good. And, ooh, another Yzma. And, ooh, I don't have this guy as a shiny yet. That's funny. Uh, I mean, if you've seen my deck profile video, you know I use this guy quite a bit, so I don't think he's really worth a whole lot shiny, but it's nice to have one. That's nice. And then Yzmas are always welcome sights. This is a very much used card right now. Put you over there. Alrighty, folks. Last pack. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Got a lot more casual pack openings coming up. And then, of course, once in Into the Inklands premieres, we will absolutely be diving into that world. All right, last pack. Snow White, Elsa, Lady Tremaine, Verana, Jasmine, Prince Naveen, Blue Fairy, but not blue, Sword in the Stone, Bacha, The Huntsman, another Yzma. Wow, this is like Emperor's New Groove uh, pulling right now. And... A Mulan soldier in training. All right. Well, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I almost have a full play set of Yzmas now at this point. Is the universe trying to tell me to go Ruby Amethyst? I hope not. But yeah, that is our haul, ladies and gentlemen. And then this is probably where it's actually worth something. <laughs> so hopefully you guys all enjoyed that. Uh, I know I did. <laughs> so I've got a lot more pack openings on the way. And yeah, just stay tuned for Into the Inklands content when it comes out. All right. You guys have a great rest of your day. Have a good one. Bye.